So this month, applications got underway for the Japanese government's Minor Point Initiative. Minor what, you might ask? In autumn last year, reports emerged that the government was mulling an initiative whereby consumers could get up to 5,000 yen's worth of points back on purchases made using cashless services from the period of September 2020 through March 2021. This initiative then has nothing to do with the outbreak of the new coronavirus, rather it was thought up as a way to address any potential slump in consumer spending following last year's tax hike, as well as any potential slowdown following the summer games. Well, the outbreak of the new coronavirus has since seen the summer games postponed, but not this minor point initiative. Before we get into this any further though guys, be sure to subscribe to the CityCost YouTube channel somewhere down there where you can find plenty more videos about life in Japan from interviews to travel documentaries to videos like this one where we break down the latest developments that will be of interest to foreigners living in Japan. The gaping prerequisite in order to cash in on this initiative is that you need to have an individual number card, more commonly known as a My Number card, from which the initiative has drawn its name. Now, like it or not, we've all been designated a number. However, not all of us will have been motivated enough to go out and get ourselves a glossy My Number card. Well, perhaps this Minor Point initiative will see us get off our backsides and go out and get one. Or maybe not. Let's see what we get in return for our troubles. Well, in principle, it sounds simple enough. Make purchases via a pre-selected cashless service and get points back. 25% on purchases up to 20,000 yen, so that's where the 5,000 points bit comes into things. So how to get involved? Well, the Ministry of Internal Affairs and Communications has set up a website detailing all you need to know about the Minor Point Initiative, in Japanese of course. So this is the Minor Point portal site, and if we go down to the screen a little bit further, we can get into the information about how it is that we can apply for these points. Essentially here it details three steps. This step here is, where, is the step where you get your My Number card. The next step is what is called a yoyaku, a reservation. And then the final step is the moshikomi, the application. So this is interesting. There is both a reservation for the points and an application for the points. Why is there a reservation? Because, well, we can't say this definitively, but as there is a limited budget for this initiative, it seems like the organisers are inviting people to actually reserve ahead of time their ability to actually take part in this initiative. And then through the application itself, what we're doing is we're linking our My Number to the cashless service that we want to use as part of this initiative. So let's take a closer look. Okay. So it seems there are essentially three ways in which to make this reservation and this application via an app downloaded to our smartphones, via software downloaded onto a laptop, or you can actually do this in person at a variety of outlets, including city offices, post offices, mobile phone shops, and others. These outlets are detailed on the Minor Point portal site. Let's for now though, just take a look at how to do this via an iPhone. Now, if we scan right down to the bottom here, we can see that there are 14 steps involved in this procedure. Now, this is the organizers really breaking it down for us, but let's just keep it a little bit more simple. Uh, essentially, the first thing that we need to do is download the Minor Point application and install it. Once we've done that, we need to enter the PIN code, a four digit PIN code that we received upon applying for our My Number card. The next stage then is to read your My Number card. The, the My Number card has a chip in it. We need to read this using our smartphone. And then in doing this, you're going to be issued what is called a MyKey ID. And that brings us to an end of the reservation procedure, the Yoyak procedure. And then what happens next is that we apply for the minor points. So in doing this, we select the cashless service that we want to use. We enter the cashless service ID and password. We re-enter once again our My Number Card PIN number. We read the My Number Card once again. And then we're finished. One thing that isn't made clear from the Minor Point website is that, of course, the government has set a budget for this initiative. 
Based on this budget, there are funds enough for 40 million people to claim back their 5,000 yens worth of points. According to some small print on the website itself, once the initiative reaches the upper limits of its budget, then the organisers present the possibility that they may close to further applications. Another thing to remember, even though minor point applications have gotten underway this month, purchases made prior to September 1st, 2020 will not be eligible to get back those points. So what to do if you don't have an individual number card or a My Number card? Well, the first thing you need to do is sift through your documents and see if you can't find the form that came with your My Number notification card, which looks like this. If you can't find that, not to worry, get in touch with your city hall where you reside and they can get the ball rolling for you. So guys, a quick summary of what you need to do to get involved in the Minor Point initiative. First of all, you need to get a My Number card if you haven't already. Then you reserve your Minor Point usage and get a My Key ID. After that, you can apply and pre-select the cashless payment service that you wish to use during the initiative. Finally guys, one point to remember, this initiative begins from September 1st, 2020. So any purchases you make prior to that, they won't be eligible to receive points back. Okay, so is getting involved in this minor point initiative going to be worth it? For me, looking through the minor point portal website in the research for this video, the answer to that question has to be an emphatic no. First of all, I don't have a my number card. I don't particularly have any desire to get one, although you do get the impression that at some point this card is going to be forced upon us. Even with the card though, the downloading the apps, the downloading the software if you're using a laptop, the need for an IC card reader, the making a reservation, then making an application, I feel like these steps are going to be too much of a hassle for some people. And then of course there are those people who haven't even started using cashless payment services yet. On that note, as well as an attempt to address any potential downturn in consumer spending, other purposes for the Minor Point initiative are to encourage people to go out and get themselves a My Number card, as well as to encourage people to start going cashless with their payments. And as we know, since the outbreak of the new coronavirus, going cashless has been encouraged from many quarters. This is all fair enough then, but for me, they need to make initiatives like this a little bit smoother, or if not, increase the rewards to something beyond 5,000 yen. According to the authorities, there are other benefits to having a My Number card aside from this Minor Point initiative. These include being able to do administrative procedures online, uh, going and getting official uh, certificates and paperwork from convenience stores, and the My Number card can also be used as a form of identification. And it seems like these benefits to having a My Number card are going to be increased by the authorities as they look to encourage it use. Hilariously though, for foreigners living in Japan like me, the My Number card adds to another bit of bureaucracy that needs attending to when it comes to extending your status of residence here in Japan. This fact alone makes me not want to have one. Anyway, how about you guys? Are you interested in this Minor Point initiative? Have you already made your application? Let us know in the comments below this video and please subscribe to the CityCost channel for more videos like this. In the meantime, we'll see you next time. Bye bye.